Hello viewers. Let me first do some stupid things. Don't ask any question. Trust me, I'll discuss it later. Just see. A string is equal is equal. Select all from here is our table name login. Where the column names are user name and password. User name is equal what and password is equal what. So this is our SQL query for retrieval information from the database and this question mark is very important actually this question mark con will contain the value of the text fields the question mark after username will contain the value of this text field and then the question mark after the password will contain the value of this password text field But now this is the structure of the query. So we need to prepare the statement. So for doing this, at first we need a try cast block. And then we need to prepare the statement. But before that we need to create a variable. So let's go to our variable declaration section and then let's create a variable of type prepare statement. Initially it is null. Now PST is equal connection dot prepare statement SQL so you see we have prepared our statement and the SQL is contained in the prepared statement and the connection this connection is type of uh, connection and it contains the connection of this class and it is connected to this easystar.sqlite database so we have created our prepared statement but we didn't equate these question marks to any value so let's equate the question mark with some values for doing this we need to write pst dot set string for the first question mark for the first question mark what will we set we will set the value of this text field let's change the variable name of this text field i am writing text user name and for password i am writing text pass you can change your variable name anything you wish hit enter and then go to source and what will be the value of the first question mark the value of first question mark will be the value of this text field so let's do it text username dot get text so we have set the value of the first question mark. Let's copy it. And paste it. And what will be the value of the second question mark? Text 
pass dot get text so we have prepared our statement but you see we didn't execute the query at first we make the structure of it then we prepared the statement and equate the values of it and then we need to execute the query so let's execute the query but before that we need to create another variable let's do it private and the variable will be type of result set that will execute the query result set is set is equal null initially so result set is equal prepare statement dot execute query so we have executed our query now if the query executed successfully then we will sure that the username and password is correct otherwise the username and password is wrong let's check it we need if else condition if result set dot next then we will uh, do some stuffs like our instruction will be executed what type of instruction it could be uh, appearance of uh, the main working window will be one of them we will see it later at first what will happen if the result set is incorrect that means if the password and username doesn't match then what will happen let's write the code if the username and password is incorrect then we will show a message the option pan show message dialog root pen and what will be our message like username and password is uh, in correct okay let's run the program this taking too long so if the username and password is incorrect then a message will be popped up username and password is incorrect let's hit enter and you see a message is popped up username and password is incorrect what if the username and password is correct let's run our software why is so slow username is n i s s a t and password is 11113059 so you see the username and password is valid so what will happen the login window is vanished and the main working window will be popped up so we will do the same thing same thing for our this code so if the result set dot next is true then at first we need to close the login window so let's write the code close actually it, this is not a built in function that means method we need to create a method that will close the login window i will discuss it later so don't worry about this so what will we do next after closing the login window we will
call the main working window so before that we need to create a main working window and then we need to call it so go to default package and click right button the new then j frame form and give your class name and hit finish you see i have already created a new j frame form i have named it eg start main dot java so whenever we will try to log in with valid username and password the at first the login window will be closed then this main working window will be appeared so for doing this at first we need to create an object of this class let's do it is this start main object is equal new is this start main object dot set visible come on true so at first we have closed our login window and then we will call the main working window a very important thing should be noted that we have closed the login window and then we call the ejstat main window what should happen to our database connection if we try to establish a database connection in this window then our database will be locked because it is already connected to the login dot java class so before establishing database connection into this class we need to close the connection so before going to another class we need to close the connection let's do it doing this we need a try cache block try result set dot close and copying it and then prepare statement dot close and then connection dot close so we have closed our connection if any exception occur we will just show the message option pen dot show message dialog so that's it and now if we are trying to prepare our statement and then result set and then the other things if any of them appears incorrect or error occurs in any of the in instruction then what will happen then the try block will not be executed the cache block will cache the exception and what type of exception can be occurred exception for sql injection or headless exception and various exception can be occurred and if any exception occur we will just catch it and show it pen dot show message dialog root pen e So that's it. In the next video, I will show you how to close the login class. If we are able to close it, then everything is okay. We are able to move to the next window. That, is, that means our main working window. Until then, goodbye. Keep watching and please don't forget to subscribe.